Here we're going to take a brief look at organic hydroponic production. So producing a hydroponic grow with organic based nutrients. Now growing hydroponically and organically can present some challenges. Organic nutrients can take longer to become plant available. So in hydroponics where fruits may be only exposed to nutrient solutions for very short periods of time, this is something to keep in mind. Organic based products can be less stable in solution, resulting in a greater chance for a potential shift in pH or EC, electrical conductivity changes that could occur. So just keep these two things in mind, especially when growing hydroponically. Organic nutrients can also have more particulate than other nutrients, which can clog systems and lead to more frequent uh, operation cleanings. So again, this is not necessarily a bad thing, but just keep in mind that if you are switching to more organic-based nutrient solutions, there's a chance that they might contain more particulate. It's going to require you to change filters more often, or to keep uh, make sure that the um, spray nozzles are clean. Uh, make sure that it may have a more of a muddy or water look to them. This may cause the roots to potentially not look pure white. They could have a slight uh, teeth kind of color to them. Now, it could be a sign of disease, but oftentimes if you're using organic uh, production that has a very strong, uh, deep coloration to the water, that's going to tinge the color of the roots. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, just something to keep in mind. Lastly, we also want to be mindful that just because you're growing organically doesn't mean you can't pollute. It's the same as chemical fertilizers if you're not careful. So still keeping an eye on the nutrients that you're adding uh, and knowing how much that you're adding uh, in eliminating runoff can also keep your plants healthy, keep your plants doing well, but also not uh, contributing to environmental contaminations, especially with hydroponically with a lot of water-based solutions. We want to be mindful for changing those solutions out to not just dump them down the drain. We want to try to get the maximum uh, we want for efficiency of the plant, but also so we're not wasting anything and contributing to groundwater contamination, especially with phosphorus. And that's true for both organic and inorganic operations, but organics can also pollute. So again, run those numbers, double check, just to make sure you're operating in a sustainable way.